Hello, and welcome to another tutorial from Cami Page Boutique. I'm Brooke Tannehill, and today I'm going to show you how I made this two-tone cow print and sunflower custom epoxy tumbler. As always, all the products I use will be listed in the description below, and you may even find a coupon code or two that saves you some coin. Also, come join our exclusive Facebook group where you can take advantage of upcoming freebies and giveaways that you aren't going to want to miss. So without further hesitation, let's go ahead and get started. For this cup, I started with a fully prepped and sanded 20 ounce straight skinny, took it outside, spray painted it white, let that dry, and then I applied my glitter using the epoxy method. I didn't record it because I feel like that's a huge part of my tutorials the last couple times. So I applied the glitter. This is Silk from Peachy Olive Glitter. Let it dry and then I sealed this once with Rust-Oleum Clear Gloss Spray Paint and then it was time to apply the alcohol inks. So here I am using a black alcohol ink from Pinata. You can definitely use whatever you have on hand but I am just taking the tip of the alcohol ink bottle and just kind of dabbing the alcohol ink onto the cup. So I start with some bigger kind of um, spots at the bottom and at the top and then I'll just move around until I get the pattern that I like. So here I just what I like to do is just dab the alcohol ink onto the cup and then it takes a second for it to kind of fully get its shape. So I like to kind of turn my cup um, when I do it because what it allows it to do is I can kind of um, force it to move the way that I want because even with cow print there's not a right or wrong, but you can kind of get it going the wrong way. So I just like to dab it onto the cup and turn my cup the way I want the alcohol ink to like to flow. And it kind of helps me get a little more, not much, but just a little more control over where my spots go. For this two-tone, I like to start with the darker color first, just because um, I don't want the lighter color that we'll be using here in a second to kind of over um, be overrun with the darker color. So I start with the darker first, and then I'll come in with my um, second color, which we're going to be using a brown, and just add the accents around the cup. Once I was happy with the black spot placement, I grabbed my second color. I believe this is either caramel from Tim Holtz or sepia. I think, actually looking right at the bottle, I think it's caramel. But the tip of these bottles is a little bit different than the pinata. So I'm actually having to squeeze the ink out just ever so lightly, just to kind of get the ink to flow out onto the cup. So just really kind of focusing on the outer edges of some of the bigger spots is where I start with the lighter brown color, but then with the smaller black spots that are kind of standing by themselves, I use the brown to kind of pull them into a larger spot. <laughs> I feel like I'm saying spot a lot, but oh, I rhymed, awesome. But I'm just kind of pulling in the um, all the, like the little details to make it kind of a cohesive design for the tumbler. So just move around until you're happy. Sometimes less is more. So make sure that you're also accounting for enough negative space of the white to pop through so that when we add our sunflower details, people will know that it's cow print. Once I'm happy with my design, I'm going to seal this once with um, Krylon's Triple Thick. And then I'm also going to do a coat of Rust-Oleum Clear Gloss Spray Paint after that's dry. And then it's time to move into epoxy. Once all of the spray paint sealer was dry, I moved into a coat of epoxy. This is Artistry's one-to-one -one fast set. And for the first coat, since this is raw glitter, I probably use between like 25, 30 milliliters on a 20 ounce cup, just to make sure that I've got everything nice and coated. And then after that was dry, which is about two hours, I came in with a second coat just to make it sure it was smooth. I sanded the top rim and got any kind of pokey bits knocked down. And then I came in with another coat of Artistry's one-to-one -one facet just to make sure that I had a nice even like glossy surface for when we moved into the sunflowers. Now this is important because with the sunflowers from Gracefully Created which is what we're going to be using there is a clear outline around the around the flowers and around the decals that we're going to be using. If I had a sanded cup surface underneath that you would see them through the decals and it wouldn't be cute. So you want to make sure that you have a nice glossy surface before you go into applying your sunflower. So here is the sheet of the sunflowers that come from Gracefully Created. Now, they have a white ink backing, which allows them to really stand out over even the dark spots that you see on the cow print. So I got the biggest cluster of the sunflowers, and I picked a spot, and I wanted to apply it to the center of the cup, so right there. So you just want to get the sticker. I run my finger down the middle of the decal and then roll it out so that I know I'm not getting any like air bubbles underneath the decals. And then I wanted to add 
add just one more additional sunflower on the opposite side of the cup to make sure that I'm getting just those really cute, just kind of little extras to this cup. So again, run my finger down the middle and then roll it out to the sides so that there aren't any air bubbles. And I thought it was so cute. So I got this little tool and I wanted to try it out because I get a lot of questions about my flap wheel and Dremel that I use to sand the top rim of my cup. And I have to say I'm really pleasantly surprised. So I will link this down in the description below if you don't have a Dremel, it really worked well. But after I was done with this, I went in with two final coats of epoxy and this cup was done. I think it's perfect for fall because of the sunflowers and I think it turned out so well and it's amazing for like fall festivals or different kind of con like country fairs and I think it's just absolutely beautiful. I hope this tutorial inspires you and I can't wait to see what you create. If you have any questions about any of the steps or information, please feel free to reach out and I'll be more than happy to help. As always, thank you for watching. It really means a lot to me. If you like this tutorial, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can see future videos. You can also ring the bell so you're notified of all future cup making goodies. Thank you again. I love you guys. Bye.